Thanks for the cameraman. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Wayne, who is now going to explain what this is all about. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you're all here anyway, I know, as part of Armada Con. Uh, this is the third year now, I think, we've been doing this. this is, yes, this yes. Work for St. Luke's Hospice. Uh, you've been doing brilliantly with your fundraising. If you're regulars here, you will start to probably hopefully recognise me as representative from the hospice. I'm a community fundraiser. Uh, you know about what the hospice does, okay? We are the sole provider of end of life care. It's not a particularly sunny subject, I know, but thankfully, 35 years ago, some nurses got together to talk about it and we got the hospice up and running. So we provide end of life care for local people in our community and that is free to everyone, okay? That's care at home, that's care in the hospice, and care up at Delphi Hospital. And it's not something we like to talk about in everyday life, so I won't go on about it, but when the time comes and someone you know, someone you love, needs that care, and there's no other cure and no other way of changing things in their lives, this is where St. Luke's Hospice steps in and do their work, and they do it extremely well. I can say that because I'm not one of the clinical team, I'm a fundraiser who's here to support anyone else who wants to raise funds for the hospice. I wanted to update you with a few things very quickly because I've just given a very brilliant report that was handed to me, and it just outlines a few. Uh, we, in any t we, we did an experiment, we thought we'd have a look and see how many people we actually help in a 24 hour period, just to get an idea uh, across the range of what sort of service we're putting out there. So recently we looked at this, we took a random 24 hour period, we went to our doctors, our nurses, our community staff, our crisis team, and our volunteer uh, leader, and we said, like, how many people have you dealt within this 24 hour? The result I got, that was amazing. Just over 300 people we deal with in any 24 hour period. This was a sample section we had out. Over just over 300 people in any 24 hour period we are helping. Now that might be with uh, palliative care, hands on palliative care, that might be with uh, social care, um, that might be with grieving and support. Uh, so there are lots of different, different facets to what we do. Okay, we've got doctors and nurses at Derriford that work very closely with the oncology unit up there. Uh, we've got the hospice at Turd Chapel, which deals with very specialist cases and can deal with quite complex conditions. And a lot of people don't know this, but the majority of the care that we provide for people now is at home, in their own home environment where they feel comfortable and safe and uh, surrounded by familiar people and familiar and in a familiar environment. And our nurses will go into people's houses and provide the palliative care they need there. Uh, and sooner or later, unfortunately, most of us will know or know of someone who has uh, received that care. Uh, so we need to keep this service going. The very fact that you guys are doing this again for us, the third year, uh, is, is, is in our office we have this uh, we have this bell that we ring. It used to be a little glass, dinky little bell like this if you go ding 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 because it rings to celebrate a success or something that we find quite impressive. Uh, now we've got a bit of a tougher brass belt because we nearly broke the brass belt. <laughs> but Armadacon, when, when Gary told me that Armadacon was supporting St. Luke's again, the bell rang. Because for us, the most important thing is, as I say, next year, 35 years, we would have been, we would have been doing this. The most important thing is for us is that people support us year after year. We get 34% of our funding from the government, and that still leaves us with four and a half million every year to raise. Now, we're a local charity, okay? A local charity means uh, local. We are serving East Cornwall, uh, West Devon, and Plymouth area. So, as far as we provide the care, that's as far as we can go with our fundraising, okay? So, we're a little bit limited. So, four and a half million pounds, when it gets to April, the financial year, everything goes zero, 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 and it's a scary mountain to look at climbing that four and a half million pounds. So when our Marlacons say, we're going to support you again for another year, to us, we're ringing that bell because it means we've got people who understand the importance of continued support. So we can provide, continue to provide that service, okay? That's kind of what I wanted to say today. Um, if you've got any questions, I'm going to be around for a little while. If you've got any questions about St. Luke's, come and see me. Or you can always get in touch with us at the fundraising office. Gary's got my contact details. 
Um, there's all sorts of fundraising things we do outside of, that we run ourselves, like lotteries, which we have a thousand pound prize every week, and that's just local lottery. So it's really good sort of fundraising tool for us. It raises, I think, about 400,000 pounds a year for, but, but then people get something back from it, you see, because you can have a bit of a, bit of a flutter. And then we do a festive Friday, which is great for schools and that kind of Christmas end of the year thing at work where everyone's sat in an office all day, every day for the whole year, and then you just want to go mad and put a, a silly jumper on or some sparkly dingy boppers or some earrings or something, that, you know. And, and that, again, it's just a, a fun way, and everyone gets involved and puts a pound in the pot and it raises money. So people come back to us year after year with that. We're growing these sort of fundraising campaigns. But again, really important for us. So thanks very much for your support. I'm going to sit in on the auction for a bit and see how well you guys do. I'm sure you're going to do it great. Right. Okay, thanks again. And, uh, you can bid for items if you wish. And so can everybody else. So let's put our hands in our pockets and, and bid for these extraordinary things. Uh, so we can't raise them. So we've got what? Put our hands in our pockets so we can't raise them. Oh, <laughs> You've got two hands. Head down. So, uh, the first extraordinary item. Fashion. Right, we're kicking off with fashion. We are kicking off with <coughs> Reservoir Doctors. This is a ladies' large. So, gents, if you really want to squeeze it, you can. Ladies, if you want to look ravishing with two doctors on your chest, bid. <laughs> what was that? I got five pence from the back. Just thought about it, but wouldn't seven. bore that. The doctor's been three D. I've got eight. <laughs> anyway, I've got eight pounds. Ten. I've got ten. I've got eleven. Twelve. Twelve. I've got twelve. I've got thirteen. So it's a telephone bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, it won't fit you. Give it up. <laughs> One leg. I'll give you twenty pound if you try it on. <laughs> <laughs> A special bid for me not to put it on. <laughs> and uh, I think it was 13 pounds, wasn't it? That's where the t-shirt was at. The t-shirt's yeah. at 13 pounds. Do I hear 14? I don't. 13 pounds. 13 pounds going once. Thir go oh, sorry, 14. 15. 15. Whoa, double numbers. Mm -hmm. 16. I got a 16. Do I hear a 17? No, I hear a 16. I hear a 16. I have a 17 at the back. Okay. 18. I really hope you're not doing what I think you're doing, otherwise I'm bidding 18 for the same person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this for you, you have to? No, it's for Katie in New Zealand. Oh, she's going to have to arm wrestle with Ali, Ali then. Yes. <laughs> Alright, 18. Have you been 18, was it? No, you did. Well, I've been 18. I've been 18. 18, 18 going once. 20, I have been 20. 21. 21 of bread and water for a week. Okay, 21. I'm, bit, I'm now on 21. Do you, do you want to go higher than 21? No? 21. 21 going once. 21 going twice. Sewed to badge 42. Uh, oh, Lot three. Who doesn't enjoy a nice evening in the winter round the fire playing with a hobbit? <laughs> <laughs> we all do. Middle Earth is the fantasy role-playing game based in J.R.R. R. Tolkien's world. Perfect for seasoned players, as well as those who have never experienced the thrill of fantasy role playing, it uses yeah, the yeah, word thrill. Right. Yes, with rules which are totally incomprehensible. Battle with trolls, battle with rules. <laughs> <laughs> the options are absolutely almost virtually but not quite limitless. <laughs> I've 
pounds. Five pounds to break the seal on this not yet opened box of Middle Earth Tolkien's fantasy role playing experience. Five pounds for the end. 1980s is technically a classic. Yeah. In antique terms. Technically a classic. Ten pounds. That's one. Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. Any advance on 15? Who? Oh, uh, I'll go 20. 20. Oh, two lots of 20, that's 40. <laughs> <laughs> There's a consortium of 40 pounds now. <laughs> no, 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 we can't have that. No, no, no. 20 pounds from this gentleman was first. 25 from yours true. 25 from the red-shirted butler at the back. 25 pounds. Who'll give 26 to actually sit and play the game with Kevin? 26. 26. Well, Who'll give 27 it? to not sit and play the game with Kevin? That's a much more worthwhile experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be young for him, so I know. <laughs> We're on 26 pounds with Fiona. Any advance on 26? Kevin's bottled it now. <laughs> 26 pounds it is. The man of the corpse. He has corpse. <laughs> 26 pounds going once. Going twice. Sold to Fiona for 26 Double pounds. Double O eight. Only one away from James Bond. Thank you. Right, to get this convention back on track, because it is the 50th anniversary, a Star Trek jigsaw puzzle. The motion picture, there is no comparison. Okay, this is as good as... No, I can't. There is no comparison. So, uh, only this. Excuse me, there is an, at least a noun missing from that sentence. There is no comparison to... There just is no comparison. <laughs> yes, to what? <laughs> to what? It's even got a full stop, so I'm sorry, you can't even say they, they didn't fit the rest of it. There's no so, comparison to correct grammar. There's yes. no comparison to correct grammar. Um, if you do the jigsaw, pe jigsaw, I suppose you could leave that bit out, <laughs> assuming it's on the jigsaw. How many pieces is it? <laughs> 1,000. No, it's not. It's 999, isn't it? It's a prop. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a thousand. It's, it's a thousand. Yeah, no, it's a thousand pieces, but they put a ticket four over the top, so I'm assuming that all the pieces have been cut into four. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the cop, opening bids, please. Five up. Five up. Ten up. Ten up. Eleven. Eleven. It's not 50th anniversary. If the last one was a classic, this has got to be older than a classic. This has got to be 1970s. Vintage. Vintage. Yeah. This is vintage. I've been tired to look at what we're up to. Was it 11? 11. 12. 12? It's never been opened. Yeah. 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 The sealed. pieces are still sealed in the plastic bag inside. Untouched by living hands. Yep. Or even alien ones. Still untouched it's by living hands. It's never been done. <laughs> 15. 15. 15. Mid edition. There's, there's a free poly bag with it as well. Mm -hmm. 15. Any advance 15? 16? No, 15. Going once. Twice. Sold. 64. 64. Block number five. Can you ever be sent the corners of traditional and tradition does something edible? I present for you Monty Jungles. Shocky, scoffy, divinely chocolatey, cocoa, uh, cocoa dusted truffles, curiously Moorish, and never been removed from box. Five, but for the chocolate lover. So about I have 20 six. In the box. It's and there's 20 in the box. This sounds like a consortium. I'm, I have a six in the corner. Seven. I have a seven over here. Ten. I have a ten. Twelve. I have a twelve. I have a 15. I melt in the mouth. I have a melty, I have a melty 15 in the mouth. Do I have a 16? No, I have 15. I have 15 going once, 15 going twice. So to badge number 26. 15 pounds. 20! Before CGI. <laughs> There were Japanese men in rubber suits. <laughs> and there were a lot of them in that. There still are, but no, it's 18th century. There are many yeah. collections of original Godzilla movies on DVD, but there is only one ultimate 
Godzilla DVD collection. And this apparently is it. So for £15 already... 20 For £20 already... I like Godzilla, he breaks things. That's, <laughs> that's £4 a DVD only so far. You're getting Godzilla versus Mothra for £4. Terror of Mecha Godzilla for £4. Rodan for £4. That's the Godzilla's bonus. Godzilla's Revenge for £4. Yeah, the wrong name of the film that's supposed to be Son of Godzilla. Why they renamed it, I'll never know. And Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Oh, that's the first one. For £4. So we're at £20. So for an extra... 25 yeah, 30 30 <laughs> £30. That's £6 a disc. That's still good value for money. £30 for a rubber suit for a whole week. I like rubber. Exploding mobile garages. Yep. Guaranteed almost in every movie. It's probably a dangerous thing to let this man have these discs. Oh, don't stop, please. Thirty-six pounds. That's two more patients fed, and no rubber for you, sir. Thirty-six. Hang on. Give both his name and Barry. You may still have rubber if you exceed £36. I'll go 40 £40, 40 pounds. the rubber is back in this corner. Any advance on £40 for rubber-suited Japanese men? There is a movie in there with Godzilla doing the hornpipe. Oh, that's brilliant, that is. Godzilla dances the hornpipe! He does. He does. Who doesn't want to see that? £40, £41. Oh, for I'm crying out loud. ...of Godzilla's hornpipe. There's a child right here. This child will cry <laughs> if this man gets these discs for 40 pounds. Yeah, she already cry. looks sad. <laughs> oh, you're playing the sympathy card. That's rotten. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I'll relent. Oh, she's upset now. <laughs> 40 pounds in. 40 pounds over here. Go for it. Going once. Going twice. Sold. 35. Hooray! Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so number 11, we have um, some TARDIS salt and pepper shakers. Now, the, these things, I am reliably informed you can get an awful lot more in these than it looks. Um, <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> this will be useful for any uh, dinner occasion you have. Eight. Eight? Ten. Do we hear an advance on eight? Ten. Ten, ten. excellent. Uh, 10, 11, 11 anybody? Yeah. 11, excellent. 12, 12. That's, you know, £6 each, that's still pretty good. These are, you know, very, very well made. Never been opened. Never been opened, absolutely. Uh, okay, so, uh, gonna get somebody in a bit 12. Okay, we're going once at 11, twice at 11. Badge number... 73. 73. Okay, sold. Badge number 73. Long number 12, t-shirt, more fashion, ladies 2XL size. Whichever way you look at it, that is an enormous Dalek compared to the size of that figure. Powered by what appears to be a glowing gummy bear at its heart. Oh, ten pounds for the glowing gummy bear. Ten pounds, ladies, two XL glowing gummy bear powered Dalek T-shirt. I bet it glows in the dark. Fifteen, fifteen at the back. Seventeen. Seventeen with Fiona. Eighteen. Eighteen at the back. Eighteen at the back. Twenty. Twenty not at the back. Any advance on twenty? The bit in the back is a lady. 21. 21 with the lady with the lady's t-shirt. You might want to give it to a lady as a gift. Or keep it for yourself. Or keep it for yourself. <laughs> Whatever you want you choose to do with it after that is your own affair. 21 at the back at the moment. Any advance on 21? Going. Going twice. Sold. 21. Badge number? 63. 63. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm. Special charity appeal 
bones am I? From the man who was licking his lips when I brought it to the front. Fifteen bit eyes. So fifteen. <laughs> I suspect fifteen is not Yoda having a rocky not the jack scene. I'm going to double that. I'm going to say thirty-six. Ooh. Thirty-six. He's stuffed. Uh, <laughs> does anybody wish to save Yoda from having a rocket off the jack seat? 40, because I need him next year. 40. <laughs> 45. No, you're not. <laughs> Five old, blind 50. 50. Oh. 5 5. You're an idiot. <laughs> 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 you said you didn't see him blown up. Yeah. <laughs> Three hang on, hang on. Obviously, the man who's bit by five quid has died, so is he the idiot or you? I don't know, I'm going to shoot him. Does anyone to say, on 55, do you wish to save Yoda? Oh, oh, oh. Consortium X. Oh, it, Your seven. mission, to take it on to save Yoda for next year's anniversary, okay, is to outbid the explosives. Oh, come on. <laughs> so basically yeah. Hang on, Barry. What? Do we get the bucket? We could always nick his. <laughs> you can kill me, but we have a replacement. <laughs> right, tell you what we do. 71. Chris, are you right if I put this to one side? 71. Oh, what? 71. Guys, we're going to come back to we're this one. We're going to keep your together. It's, on it's standing at yeah. 71. We'll, we'll put it to one side. Yeah. We are against the right, clock. We'll move on to next, next item. Stop while the bucket goes around. Okay. It's number 14. 14. Number 13. Oh, 13. I'm 14. 14. Yeah. Ah, a very, very nice fog watch, watch with a sort of lion motif on the front. This is going in the dealer's room for 20 quid. So. Uh, that's the Doctor Who Beads of Time pocket watch, I think, isn't it? Wait, it's been 80 bucks. That's what it was right. less. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, my mistake. Okay. I was told it was a Doctor Who. Could you hold it at the camera? Yeah, hold it up with the camera. It is. Which camera? The camera will get on the computer. Oh, it's a Zoom in. A little closer. Manual zoom. <laughs> you give us two fingers there, Dave. <laughs> and the back is all great as well, we've been told. <laughs> you are falling under our power. You will give us all your money. All and a tenner. All and a tenner. Bid more than Barry. Fifteen, and it's about time. Fifteen is <laughs> now. <laughs> Fifteen for the bad pub. Sixteen. We have sixteen. Sixteen. Is this a pocket watch? Yes. Yeah. Twenty. 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 Thank you. Because it goes for the, in the dealer's room for twenty quid. So this is for charity, remember? So any of us on twenty quid? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Going once for twenty-five. Twice. Sold. Don't lose the twenty-five. Forty-five. Tommy, so we're also going to spend money at the auction. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saying that since you were about five. You've never failed You've never failed You still don't know. Okay, lot 15 is uh, another yes. big finish uh, adventure, this time with the 10th Doctor. This is an exclusive limited edition. There were only 5,000 of these made. This is number 479. As you can see, it's never been opened. And it features three original... Uh, Tenth Doctor Adventures uh, with Donna. So, shall we start at ten? I mean, I know these have got to go ten. from uh, thirty. What? Well, that's ten, yeah. right? Okay, ten. Do I hear fifteen? Twelve. Twelve. Fifteen. Excellent. Fifteen. Do I hear an advance on fifteen? Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty. Do I hear an advance on twenty? Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Anybody want to go for twenty-one? This is still a very, very good deal at this point. Twenty-one. We're here, 21. 21, okay, 21. 22. 22, excellent. 22. So we've already got uh, one person fed. Can we get to two? Right. Um, uh, so that's 22. We're here, 23. 23. Right, going once at 22, twice at 22, sold. Uh, 26. <coughs> Back to Yoda again. Oh, here we go. Barry. What? The, the bid is currently against you, and um, it's currently a hundred quid. Oh, bog off! <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish to outbid the consortium, Barry? No, just, just, you? I've got my eyes on other things. <laughs> uh, yes, we know about you in Japanese rubber. <laughs> 
So we have 100 pounds to save it from Consortium X. Going once. And verified. Going twice. No, that's it. Save by 100 pounds. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, we were out. Uh, oh, this is a... <laughs> <laughs> Colin Baker disapproves of this Colin lot disapproves <laughs> of captains with sticky out noses. <laughs> it is 3D. It is... William Shatner 3D, oh dear. Rare William Shatner with his shirt on picture. How did he look like? Eh? Okay, okay. I, I was told from the fact this is a 3D print from the 30th anniversary. So you're talking a 20 years old makes it vintage. Vintage. Vintage Shatner with shirt on. Do I hear a fiver? Ten. I hear ten. Do I hear eleven, Barry? It looks like Janeway's been sucking a lemon. <laughs> that's that's quite always the like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. She's standing next to Shap. Kissy, kissy. Fifteen no, no, no. at the front. <laughs> fifteen at the front. Fifteen. Fifteen. Just fifteen at the front. Twenty, so I can hose it with ammo. <laughs> twenty for, for, for Shapner to get shot by a machine gun. <laughs> Maybe for twenty-five, Mr. Baker will destroy it personally. Probably <laughs> <laughs> would. Happily. <laughs> <laughs> we have. I, def I defer to someone who's better at it than I am. <laughs> Barry is bidding £20 to see, to see Colin Baker destroy William Shatner. <laughs> the daughter beat Shatner. That's, that's yeah, it's worth £20. Yeah, yeah. Do we have a bid against that? £20 for, for the doctor to destroy Shatner. Going once, going twice. <laughs> So for twenty pounds to uh, thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, on camera, I'm like, don't you want to do it now? I wouldn't dare do it. He has paid for you to do it. He's quite happy for you to do it. No, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'll only take it home and do it myself with a machine gun. There you go, then. I think I'll have to go back. But you've got the post. Come next year, see Shapner get machine gun for his anniversary. Yeah, go with that. Uh, the final <laughs> DVD set, oh, 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 signed, oh. signed by the stars, and it can be handed to you by the star. Yes, indeed. Um, so that's 25. something. something sorry. 25. 25, oh. I hear, for this. 30. 30. 30. 35. 40. 45. 45. 45. 50. 50. <laughs> <laughs>
by the doctor. So it's canon. <laughs> this is a canon. <laughs> <laughs> Ten quid. Ten, ten quid for Chris Traster. Wear it. Oh, no, ten quid for me to wear it. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that unless you say something else. Press the button. Press the button. Oh, press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Chris, stand up and show how tiny you are. He's five foot seven. Yeah. Can I just point out, he's tiny, it's a tiny costume. How much funny would it be to put Barry in it? Oh, what? <laughs> Do I, do I hit 25 to get Barry in it? 20 yes. To, for you to wear yes, it? Yes, I hit 25 for Barry in it. 25 for Barry to wear it to that. I've got five, so it's now, it's now 30. Is it I'll, add, I'll add five to the, the Barry wears it one because we haven't stuffed them up enough. Okay, so 35. <laughs> 35. Well, I add a five, that's, that's 40, isn't it? Okay. I'll put a tenner in, that's 50. Oh, for 50. That's <laughs> too good. We love you, Barry. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Excellent. I'm having a rotten all the same. Fashion time again. We have a pair of ladies' trousers. And how I you say, why on earth would you be bidding on this? I have been reliably informed that the pattern on this is an exact match for a certain doctor's, not his, cricket trousers. <laughs> so, ladies who would like to play cricket wearing Very matching short, trousers. Short ladies. Short, 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 yeah. short ladies, yes. <laughs> or we can be, oh, warm your arms for the men. I don't, so, does anybody like to have a pair of what size, says, 16. size 16 ladies' trousers, exact match to the doctor's cricket trousers? Exact dish, says the doctor. Maybe. <laughs> Do I have a bid? What do you give me a pound? Three. I've got three at the back. Do I have four? I have three. Harry, it won't fit you. Will uh, they fit Ali? Eh? Hey? Will they fit Ali? Uh, yeah. Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, for Ali, that's fine. My wife dressed as a doctor. Um, <laughs> uh, connotations. Um, <laughs> we have four. We have four. We have four going once. Oh, we'll make it an even five. We have five. Barry wants to wear the trousers. No, I need, we can't need cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Barry wants to clean the car with, with, with a, a replica of the pattern of the Doctor's. Six. Six. I rather like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, would you like to make Colin happy? I already have. I don't need to bid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we are on six, I believe. Was it? Yes, six. We have six. Six at the back. Six going once. Six going twice. Sold for six pounds to badge number. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Next up is twenty-nine. This, I am um, uh, reliably and uh, unbiasedly informed, is a very good uh, audio play. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm in it. Um, <laughs> this is Circle of Spears' first audio production. Um, it is based on our stage play, which uh, it, it's set in the early Elizabethan times, uh, where a, a suspected witch has to face her accuser and the local magistrates to prove her innocence. And last night, some of you saw an extract from it performed live in front of your very eyes. Yes. Okay, so uh, we'll start the bidding at five. Five. Right, five over here. Six. 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 Do I hear seven? Seven. Seven over here. Seven. We'll sign it. Yeah, we'll sign it. All of the cast members are here. Ten. Ten. You can do a Q&A with the author this afternoon when she gets here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got ten over here. Do I hear eleven? Eleven pounds. Eleven pounds. Fifteen. Fifteen. Thank you very much. Do I hear an advance on fifteen? Fifteen. For just three more pounds, we can uh, feed one person. Okay, fifteen. Fifteen going once. Fifteen going twice. Sold. To take your day. <laughs> Sixty-two. <laughs> Sixty-two. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm an old fogey, and I come from Classic Trek, and it is the fiftieth anniversary. And one of my all-time favourite episodes is 
the travels or triples. I just love that one. And on our travels this year, we ended up in Kansas City for MidCon 2. And there was the man himself, David Gerald, selling off tribbles. And uh, he's given me a note to Amadacon. Take good care of my tribble. Mm. It's one of my favorites. Mm. <laughs> signed by David Gerald, and he was very kind. He signed this bit as well. And if I can find, I think some people played with this yesterday. Mm. Sizing him up. Sizing him up. If I can get him to work. <laughs> that's Harry? not a triple. That's, that's a good amount of vibration on that triple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once it's switched on, it's actually, they're very, um... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are very. He's very, very sensitive, sensitive because Steve had a bad cold and when he sneezed it actually set off the triple. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would oh, like okay. him to go to a really good home because he's come all the way from Kansas City. Oh, that's fine. Charts. We have a 15. 20. 20. 25. 25. It makes noises and it vibrates girls. 30. 30. <laughs> <laughs> the words in the brick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on. He does stop at times. I'll stop him. <laughs> With you at the back on, was it 20? 30. 30. We have it 30 at the back. We have 30. We have 30 going once. We have 30 going. 30. Rescue well, the ambassador 50. 50. Oh, wow. What? Who are you rescuing it from? Because you said it was bidding for it. <laughs> We have oh, right, 50. Okay, oh, oh, you goofed up, didn't you? Oh, we have you we, we have you on 50 for not paying attention. You see, education does co cost money. You just learnt a very valuable lesson. 50. Do we have more than 50? We have 50. We have 50 going once. We have 50 going twice. So to the bug in the red shirt. Who's Yay! Nine. I will switch him off. <laughs> <laughs> He's so pleased to be coming here. Okay, next up we have Ben I Lewis. I Aliens Barry. are coming. <laughs> and now my turn. A uh, popular science book by um, no, uh, actor and writer. You've gone out of order. Sorry. You've got the green first red shirt. Ah, oh, okay. By okay. Down Ensign. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to sit down with you for hours. Ladies and gentlemen. 20. I have picked up an original classic Star Trek communicator. You can contact the Enterprise. They can get hold of you. You can scan weird creatures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, With the original instructions. It's not a risk communicator. No, it's worse than that. It's a gold one. We have a bit of 20. 20, 20. 20. What network is it on? Uh, <laughs> 25. 25. 25. 25. 30. 30. What, Sam, did you want to bid 30? No. Uh, so. Come on, David. Go on, you know you want it. Go on, says one. one. Yeah, it says one. Yeah, you want it. So. And you're getting it in the anniversary year as well. He <laughs> makes cute noises. Oh, Look, let's make this easy. <laughs> 31. Thank you. 31 at the moment. 35. 35 from the uh, team of the, the worker class. 35. Any more bids at 35? Going once. Going twice. Third time sold to the staff. <laughs> Badge number 24. Badge 24. Badge 24. 24. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Pat Harkin, who usually stands here and, and is much more entertaining and much easier at extorting money at the Barry, couldn't be here, but in 2014, for no apparent reason, he signs other people's pictures, including the Queen's. <laughs> so this is a genuine 2014 £5. £5. Which back then was worth five pounds. Now, with the depreciation of the currency, it's probably worth millions. <laughs> I have a bit of five pounds for five pounds. Uh, ten quid, because I don't like the new polymer ones. 
we have we have ten yeah, well, yes, yes, this yes. rare collectible <laughs> original, not eaten by Barry five pounds, which he's now paying ten pounds for. God knows what he's gonna do with it. Does anyone want to stop Barry having a fiver? <laughs> At least I'll get some of my money back. <laughs> You're paying ten pounds to get a five of okay. Yeah, that only cost me five quid. Oh, you okay. have to come back here. Ten pounds for a fiver. Ten pounds going once. I'll give you twelve. Twelve pounds for a fiver. Boy, are you a mug? My... <laughs> That's the currency market for you, up and down, just like that. We have twelve pounds for a fiver. Eighteen, and we'll feed someone. With eighteen, so eighteen pounds, and we'll feed somebody with a fiver. Eight, four fiver, sorry. Eighteen pounds for a fiver. Yeah, we have eighteen pounds for a fiver. We have eighteen pound going once, eighteen pound going twice. So for eighteen pound. <laughs> How many of us grew up with I Will Be Nearer the Dandy? Oh. So this is the fiftieth uh, anniversary, um, the first fifty years. Optimistic. Uh, the first fifty years of the Beano and Dandy. Uh, this is a um, a big annual bumper book. Uh, so shall we start this at five? Five. Okay, we've got five here. Do we have six? Six. six. Do I have six? Uh, seven? Seven. This is uh, uh, 144 pages of Bino and Danny goodness, right here. <laughs> okay, seven. We're on seven. Going once at seven. Ten. Ten. Thank you very much. Okay, so ten. Going once at ten. Going twice at ten. Sold to Mr. Baker. <laughs> and number six. Hey! <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'll take the ten. <laughs> you don't have to worry about patch numbers. Uh, okay. Hey, Tardis. Lovely. Like Somebody <laughs> claiming to be the doctor but may not be according to other doctors. <laughs> <laughs> and best of all, if I can find the button. Preferably. And noisy Tardis. <laughs> Sounds like the sea's going out, but never mind. <laughs> it's got a flat to light inside. Oh, and the light comes on. A, a, a light up Dr. Tardis. I think it's the one with the button. If you, if, as soon as you take it off the ground, it dematerializes. So, who will start me off, Barry? I just, which doctor is it? No, um, it's, no it's, it's, it's David. Is it? Yes. Yeah. I think so. It's, it's the suit gives it away. Oh, yeah. These new doctors all look the same. Tenant in a TARDIS that ne needs an MOT by the sounds of it. Yeah, I can give it an MOT, so I'll give you a five and start you off. I'll give you six so Barry can't grow it up. Oh, uh, 10 quid, come on, you know. It's got Barry's a... been 10 quid. I'll give seven so oh, Barry yeah. can blow it up. You're, you're giving, you're adding I'm seven to back. This is a consortium. We have a consortium on seventeen to blow up I'll the fake doctor. Do you consortium to blow it up? Eighteen. Eighteen to Eighteen. consortium. Why? Because it's it's consortium. Twenty-five. I'll sign it. Yay! <laughs> if you sign it, I can't blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We won't get to see the video of you blowing it up. It's indestructible anyway. <laughs> 25 then. 25, 25, <laughs> not to blow it up. I'm screwed now. If he signs it, I'm screwed. Alright, I'm 30 and I won't sign it. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, <laughs> you're broken. Hang <laughs> on! <laughs> I believe we have, so we're now bid on 30 for him not to sign it, Yeah. What, so he can blow it up? Yeah. <laughs> You're now being paid by the doctor to do his dirty work. <laughs> How can I refuse? Are you sure you're not the Valiard? He's the one doing dirty work. Oh, you're, no, he's a Ted, you paid 30. Oh, he's bid me up to 30. Yeah. Yeah. He's bid 30 and I'm still going to pay out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the doctor has given a companion an instruction. You get to be a companion for 30 quid. I'm not going to hear the last of this, am I? <laughs> no, because it's all on tape. <laughs> so Barry has bid, without realising, 30 quid. I could throttle something. Not to blow it up. 
and not have it signed. Does, any, does anybody want to save Barry? No! Going once, going twice, so to <laughs> uh, I, I'm suspecting this is going to be possibly not a hugely popular announcement from some quarters of the room. This is pretty much every Tom Baker target to Doctor Who book in existence. <laughs> uh, including the Adventures of K9, Mask of Mandragora, Talents of Wen Chang, Planet of Fire, Dalek the Dalek Special, and many other things that are weighing this fine gentleman down now. You get the entire box and we'll throw the cardboard in for free. Do you want to blow them up? Uh, no, no, no. I'll bid for you to blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> There as well. 10th anniversary. So you can have. I'll bid £10 pounds if he blows them up. <laughs> okay. £10 bid. I bid 12 for not to be for them not to be blown up as a matter of principle against <laughs> book burning. £12, 12, yes, 12 pounds to save the literature. You could put me to Turkey with you, Fiona. 15 on the same basis, 15 for this question. 15 to save books. Right, with Mark, 15 pounds for this Target collection. books are collectible. Target novels are very collectible. Yeah. 20 to save. And 20, 20 to save. 20 pounds at the bottom. Any advance on 20? 22. 22. 22. 22. 40 odd books in there. Uh, less than 50 p a book. 25 for 40 odd, bo 40 -odd books. Or 40 <laughs> odd books. <laughs> there At least three hardbacks as well. Either of those is right. Are they quite heavy? Really? Twenty-five pounds. Twenty-five pounds. Twenty-five pounds. Thirty-five. 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 Somebody has put five into a nice forty at the back. Forty at the back. Consortium. Forty at the back for this collection. Probably not going much higher. Going once. Going twice. Sold for forty pounds. Good. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting near the end. This is, I'll well, explain a minute why, this is the last auction item, makes sense in a minute, 1972 Star Trek annual, where, as authorised by the BBC, who are so really good on accuracy, if you look carefully, you can see the rocket exhaust coming out of the back of the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> now, I read this in 1972, actually, I looked at the pictures in 1972, I was 7, 8, 9, whatever. Um, Classic stories. See Spot shake hands with the 45th President of the United States and Ben Franklin. If you want to know why, bid. Uh, see Captain Kirk turn somebody into a baby. Why? Because he can. <laughs> if you want to know why, bid. Will somebody bury bid? I'm passing no comment. I've been stitched. Yeah. I've left, right, and centre. No, no, I said this oh. is the last auction item. Oh, right. I'm hiding I thought, something. I, I thought you, no, no, I'm that's a separate item in my hand. So, so you've been a bit dumb, no, no, no. no? Barry, it's back to you. I haven't been at all yet. That's why Do we think Barry bid? Yeah. Yeah. Barry, yeah. Barry bid a pound. Will somebody say Barry? Barry. Two. I got two at the back. <laughs> Barry, do you want to fight for it? <laughs> <laughs> think of the comedy <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a noise from Barry and said an audible cough, three pounds for Barry. <laughs> Was that a fourth from you, Sam, then? Yeah, it's a fourth from fun. Sam to save Barry. Barry, are you going to save Sam? <coughs> Be saved by the red shirts at the moment. Yeah, come so on. on embarrassing. Tell me about it. <laughs> You're being saved. Four pounds. Five. Five pounds at the back. <laughs> I give it to Barry, is it? <laughs> and he not blew it up. We have five at the back. 1972 annual. Silence is golden. Five pound. Five pound going once. Five pound going twice. So for five pound to badge number... 24. 24. Right. That concludes the auction. Now we come to the much more fun thing. Hooray! We have to explain to some people that haven't been before. This is the classic, rare Star Trek communicator. This is so rare, people bid on this 
every year now for... Well, this is appearance number 11. This is the 11th year that this sealed box <coughs> has been to the column. It does the contents. This is not an auction. This is a yearly rental. This communicator, which, let's face it, is crap. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you don't know because nobody's ever seen inside the bloody box. Yeah. I have. Actually, I am looking inside the box now. It says, press here. But well, it's still works! <laughs> 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 it's the original batteries! <laughs> this piece of Shit. desirable tat <laughs> has raised a £1,000 for charity so far. <laughs> Pat Harkin, I believe, is a current owner. Got drunk. No, yeah, he's, he's not. not. No, no, he's, no, no he's, I have not. Yeah, <laughs> what have you been last week? Uh, I think you. 150. The record I do know it was Pat Harkin paid £200 to rent it for a year. If you bid for this, you win. No, Chris, the record is 250 250 So, if you want to be I'll start you off, I'll start you off in the modern tenor. history, where's the man to beat? 15. We have 15. 20. We have 20. 36. Who farted? 36 to feed two people. My oh. So, how much would you have to bid to beat the record? Wrong, I have. Three years. <laughs> you have to bid, bid big now and next year. You can start your saving for it. Can I just point out my wife's looking at me in a very nasty way? <laughs> <laughs> we have a small house. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you don't get a we have 60 at the back. We have 60 and a bargain rental. That's barely a pound a week. We have 60. Oh, if you put it like that, 65. 65 and an angry wife. Okay. <laughs> you did 65 and an angry wife. Are you going to top that? 70 and a happy wife. 70 and a happy wife. <laughs> He's making your wife more happy than you. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Do you wish to make your, your wife more happy than he can? Yes, by letting him keep the beard. <laughs> <laughs> We're on 70. We're on 70. Can Do we I? Give it 70 of it and then chucks in some extra money. What, to give it to somebody that hasn't had it yet? Well, you know, it's, it's up at 70, but we could also. We can get it up. Yeah. Would a consortium oh. like to own it? We're actually looking into yeah. getting the will be the collectible t shirt to go with suit. <clears throat> we will add all your names on as it's toured the universe. Is it going to say, if I went to a market and all I got was this lousy green screen? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. And on the back, and I had to give it back. <laughs> okay, we're coming to the rock, we're on, we're on 70 and. That's 70 plus change, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. So it's 70 plus shrapnel, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, do I need to the shrapnel? <laughs> Thank you. 
Count the notes. Let's give us a ballpark number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's coming. You hear that? That is the sound of advanced mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> original bid of seventy pounds. Yeah. 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 Plus an additional one hundred and eighty-five pounds. Holy moly! Uh, plus some shrapnel, <laughs> which we've got. Uh, I'll put another fifteen to pick up two hundred. Ladies and gentlemen, considering the vast amount we raised, I have one question. Would you be willing for me to be guardian for a year? Yes. Don't worry, people, I know where he lives. Okay, question for the mathematicians. How much does it take to feed one person? 18. 18. So can you do some quick sums? How many people can you feed with over... One Just pound? over 1,400 £1, pounds. pounds. And you have raised in this auction. Uh, Holy moly. We've got a, yeah, we got a couple of hundred feet. pounds from yeah. the raffle. And we'll see how much we make from the turkey, turkey reading. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Considering I think it's a smaller year than the last couple of it years. It is. You guys have been unbelievable. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So much. Every year you have dipped your hands into your deep pockets and pulled out a bucket load of cash. And for, on behalf of the committee and on behalf of St. Luke's, we are so grateful for all your efforts and everything you do for us. Final thing. Since we have now rescued Perry, <laughs> coming bound we have for him. <laughs> bound I am not. <laughs> Safe from Perry, I am. <laughs> what we're going to do is, I'm going to put this away for a year until next year when it's the anniversary. I will then bring him back to the auction. The auction will be to transport him to St. Luke's, to the room they have for children when the families are bereaved, to keep their minds off the disasters. Would that be sufficient for you? Yes. yes. A request from people coming back next year. St. Luke's is about the terminal patient, but it's not just the patient, it's the patient and the families, and families have small children and they like to try to get children um, entertained, distracted, comforted, whatever. They have a children's room with toys for children to play with. If you have any suitable toys, must have the CP marking on them. If you'd like to bring them next year, we will do it to take an enormous box 
of toys to St. Luke's to keep the kids entertained and educated about sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, they also do a, a charity collection with, uh, with the clothing. So they, can supply, they will supply us next year, correct me if I'm wrong, with some bags. They will supply us with bags. If you've got old clothing you don't want anymore, we can put it into the bags with a gift date tag. It raises even more money for them. So if you're having a nice clean out, like Barry does every year, and you've got clothes, Everything gets cleared out by one wallet. <laughs> if you've got old toys with a CE marking on them, yeah. put them along, we'll make a nice big toy box with St. Luke's. We will send Yoda, we won't send Barry. It's <laughs> <just> too <laughs> nice. You can join <laughs> Barry the bunny, the lint bunny that warrant that's already there. Yeah. And I think, I think we now need to give a round of applause to the auctioneers and the runners for today. Yes. Yeah.